It's a Supreme Court case bringing the NRA and the ACLU together. On Monday, justices heard arguments in the case of NRA v. Volo, in which the National Rifle Association accuses a former New York State official named Maria Volo, who was then superintendent of the New York State Department of Financial Services, that she had suggested that companies reassess their ties with the NRA following the Parkland, Florida high school massacre in 2018, and allegedly also issued warnings of potential enforcement actions against those companies if they didn't comply. This prompted the NRA to file a lawsuit claiming unlawful government coercion. Arguments centered on whether government advocacy crossed into suppression of free speech. The NRA contends the official targeted them for their speech, violating the First Amendment. Conversely, the official argues she was within her rights to enforce the law and express policy views. In what some are calling a surprising twist, the NRA has found an ally in the American Civil Liberties Union, which emphasized that the group's speech was undeniably targeted. The outcome could significantly shape how government officials engage with controversial topics and regulate speech. A decision is expected this summer, and according to witnesses, the justices seem poised to side with the NRA.